What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be going through the five things I look for before buying a investment property. Let's get into it. So the first thing I look for before buying any investment property is location. For me, location is probably one of the most important things, knowing what specific areas I want to target, which will then allow me to know which specific demographic of tenants that I want to put into the house is definitely going to be vitally important. Different locations have different benefits. So you might have a location which is ideal for HMOs. You might have a location which is ideal for flips. Some locations may be good for working professionals. Some locations may be good for students and some locations may be good for kind of like house and association um, individuals. So location for me is definitely one of the most important things to consider. Ideally, you wanna know what areas that you're gonna be investing in and the postcodes in those areas so you can be super targeted with what you're looking for. Okay, so the second thing I look for is purchase price. So when I'm looking through Rightmove, a lot of the time I'll filter between certain price ranges. So for me, my personal price ranges are anywhere between, I'd say about 180 up to about 250. And then I might even sometimes filter up to about 300, just so I can kind of get an idea of what's on the market, the types of sizes of properties and what could work and what wouldn't work. But for me, purchase price is definitely key because you from the knowing the purchase price sometimes that will give you a good indication of how much room for negotiation yet you could you could get involved in so say for example a house may be marketed at 270 but you think well if i can get down to 250 it's already got all the fundamentals that i'll need for the perfect investment so sometimes you can kind of look at different prices online and think okay maybe there's a bit of room for negotiation there sometimes there won't be but you'll never know until you actually go to the property and do the viewing but purchase price is definitely something that i look for and i feel like it's an important thing to consider when getting into any investment opportunity so number three for me and that is floor plan so floor plans could easily be up there with number one and two to be honest with you because i'm looking for houses that i can convert into hmos ideally i'm looking for houses which have let's say for example two reception rooms i.e a lounge and then a dining room and then a separate kitchen uh, i'm also looking at room sizes and space sizes because then i'll be able to know if these rooms meet the kind of minimum requirements for the local council that i'm in so floor plans are really a big thing to consider and i feel like that's something that i personally you look for when I'm looking at any investment opportunity it's always easier when the floor plans are already online although sometimes the measurements ain't as specific and it can be actually bigger when you're in the space in comparison to what it looks like online so I recommend doing a viewing if you see something which looks like it could be right but you're not 100% sure okay, so the next thing I look for slash consider is the level of reefer that's going to be required to get this house up to where I want it to be so usually you can do this by when you go on to again right move or Zupa looking through the images and kind of seeing okay well it needs some modernization or it's in pretty good condition they won't need much work being done to it or once you go on to the view and that's when you'll be able to get a really good idea of what needs to be done so one of the recent projects that I just completed originally online it looked fine but then when we got there you can see that it was all single glazed windows of course nowadays all windows have to be double glazed so that again was a cost that we needed to add on top of the budget um, so these are small things that you'll be looking at which you may see them online but until you actually go and do the viewing you won't really be able to get an idea of how much things are going to cost so refurb estimating those costs is definitely an important thing that i consider okay so the last step is the potential roi so once i've kind of gone through all of those steps that i've just mentioned usually this is the time i'll be sitting down at my desk going through my calculator to work out okay if i'm purchasing it for this price i'm spending this much on it how much could it potentially rent for how much could it potentially refinance for and then i'm plugging all these numbers into my calculator and then that should give me an roi once i plug my numbers into the calculator and i have a solid understanding of what the roi would be that's when i'll kind of usually move forward and put in a solid offer and go back and forth from there sometimes the offer will get accepted and everything goes amazing but in this market that we're in at the moment i don't think anything just gets accepted straight away so uh yeah 
definitely consider your ROI. Everybody's ROI is going to be different. Um, some people are happy with 20%, some people are happy with 30%, some people are only happy with things which are 50% and above. So it really depends on your personal preference and what ROI suits you and your needs. But yeah, guys, there you have it. Those are the five things I look for when considering a new investment property. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.